All right, so now we're just gonna, we've been draw filing this a little bit just to make sure that this edge is one flat angle. And that's the whole purpose of this filing exercise right here. While it's soft, is just to make sure that we got a good, even, flat edge right there with no imperfections from the grinder. That looks really nice. Knock any burrs off of this side real quick. Any rollovers. Now we're ready to harden this thing and put it on a stone. Okay, before I finish the heat treat on this blade, I'm just going to bend this over just a little bit right here. And that's just more decorative than anything else. I'd like to curl a little bit further, but I need to see how it's going to sit in the plane first. But the blade will sit in the plane in this direction because your angle goes this way. Now, we'll get this thing in and get the heat treat process finished up and get it sharpened. Now, my plan here is a little bit different than I would normally do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this thing out Make sure it's non-magnetic, and then I'm only going to tip the blade into the oil, the sharpened area of the blade, and then when the rest of it loses color or loses that red, I'm going to dunk the whole thing. That should make the blade very, very hard, and I won't have to temper the rest of it to keep it from being brittle. Okay, we're non-magnetic. Blade in first. And I'm waiting for it to turn so it's not red anymore. As you can see it's starting to cool down. Leave it in here for about two minutes, pull it out, let it cool down, sharpen her up. This will give you a pretty good indication of how flat your blade is too. Yes, I'm using PB Blaster on this stone. Sure, people are gonna have something to say about that, but it's what I got. Now, once we get our blade done, we can start working on our opening here, and that's really all a matter of fit and finish. I've had to carve a little bit wider opening here because <clears throat> the thickness of this blade, when it sits down against this 45, it's got to be able to protrude below the surface enough to create shavings but it also has to and it has to be straight that blade's got to be straight and it also has to have a gap in there for the shavings to travel up through without clogging the plane so you've got to get that part right as well and some of that's just a matter of finagling things around and looking at it and right now it doesn't look like my plane blade is sitting quite where I want it on this one side because I've got more protruding here than here and that's not going to be good when I start planing wood so that's going to have to be finagled around a little bit and you can mess with that up here once you wedge it in so that brings us to the next step in this puzzle which is to see where we want our cross piece to go through and I'm just going to use a nail on this one a 16 penny nail and just drill a hole through this and what you'll do is you'll have this bar will be down here below about here and then you'll put a wedge in there made out of wood, kind of like this, but exaggerated, to hold that blade where you want it. Now when I put this nail in here, I only drilled through one side because I wanted it 
to be stuck in there. So now I'm going to pound it in and just hope I don't split my wood. That's pretty good. Hit that thing All with right a real guys, hammer. So I went through two, three different wedge designs. I didn't realize what a critical part of this whole thing this wedge was. You've got to keep this throat from getting blocked with shavings. And so I tried to V it, and these things still get in the way. I tried to use this, and I broke it off. So it was stupid trying to use the end grain or something anyway, but I was in a hurry. And I shouldn't have been. So I finally went and got a piece of just a hardwood, a uh, piece of maple here, and cut it off, and rounded it up. And now I've got this thing pretty much to work. It works the way it's supposed to. It's taking good, nice, fine shavings off. You can see what these shavings look like that are coming off here. They're beautiful, thin shavings. You still get a little bit of shaving clogged in the throat, but not near as much as it was. Guys, I appreciate you joining me here today for this uh, video experimentation on making a block plane and a plane iron out of a horseshoe rasp. You can see we got plenty of great shavings off this thing and it's just a matter of tweaking and adjusting until you get it right. This is my first prototype that's why I made it out of a 2x4 and uh, I'm going to try to make one of these things that looks a little bit more ancient in style by using just a piece of hardwood split out and try to carve everything that way. I just wanted to understand the process and how to do it and then I can use my forged blade and I can actually use a piece of iron in here as well or a piece of steel in here that's not a nail fancy this thing up a little bit but I appreciate your views I appreciate your support I thank you for everything you do for our school for our family and for our business for all of our sponsors instructors affiliates and friends and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can guys thanks